this is your story and so the questions are what do they think when they first met me what did they think when we went into separation what did he think when we got back in contact in may what do they think now what do they want for our future what do they want me to know what do they want me to do and also what does the universe want me to do um, me to know and it is soulmates what was at the bottom which is no place like home and then also the golden path guidance is trust and so what did they think when they first met and so this is what's interesting about this is the first two you have 11 11 because it's um what did you think about separation as well is 11. so right at the beginning you've got the 11 11 and so um, you challenge the status quo for him very much so because I feel like he's a person that we're um, just by the card it's by the book so he does things by the book and is quite kind of I guess traditional right so you kind of shook his world so the, this is the guidance the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution the law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, and the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its own place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behaviour, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book this time. Now, because the universal laws is bringing, you know, it's in essence the universal law is that twin flames will come back together because they are there to raise love and light on the planet. And so that's why I think this is quite a cool thing to get because of that sense of, you know, basically in one sense, all rule books go out the window, right? Because of this twin flame relationship. But at the same time, it, challenged the, it challenges the status quo in every single way. Okay, so next one. What do they think when we first went into separation? And this was a, and this is interesting because this is about having that innate knowing that actually this relationship will go the distance. So regardless of what it seems when you went into your separation, there was a just a deep knowing underneath. So you either are in or are calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. For better or worse, as you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself and are remade in new growth. You are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean there will never be a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned and the symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart and isn't it magnificent? So there was that, basically that sense of that you needed to go off and do your own things. You needed to go off, but always having that sort of deep knowing underneath that there would be a t time and space for you to come back together again. So what did they think when we came back to In Contact in May? And this, notice this, this is 10, which is one, which is new beginnings and it is about having a flexible approach to what's going on, right? So, in every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigid rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time. 
It's okay to come to a happy compromise and you can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met somebody new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible because you'll be happy you made that choice. So this is about really just letting you go with the flow basically and you know be having a you know just like it says you've got to bend with the wind um so you've got to be strong in knowing just to keep grounded because just like on this car like on the card there's a maze all around but the egg of creation is the is the stable ground that she's resting on so it's about knowing that you're on stable ground, but you've just got to flow with the wind. So what do they think now? And this is about lovely because it is the number two, which is the number two, 22 is all about the beloved is keep the faith and hope because what they um, think is that this relationship is blessed. Uh, you are moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union, blessed by the divine, will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and with spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. And so what do they want for your future? And this is, they want you to imagine the union, because it's 20, which is two, which is the union. So they want you to be very careful about your thoughts. So in matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. Whilst that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the, met but for the better. Imagine that. So it's about taking action, about wanting to be, you know, basically about manifesting this relationship into fruition. So what do they want you to know? And it is serendipity, the four leaf clover, the moving into a new cycle because it's nine. So you're moving on into a new, a new beginning, basically. So spirit has a plan. And that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. Someone's spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting and it is out of your hands. So pay attention to the signs that spirit presents. And also, also always go into your heart and ask your twin spirit to guide you, right? Because remember, when you're going into your heart, it is both of you together, your souls together as one, talking through your heart and talking through your own inner guidance. Your inner guidance is your sat nav back to each other, right? So always, 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 you know, if you're finding that a challenge to listen to your heart, then do a meditation, write down a question, which is how do I get back to my twin? And then after your meditation, just write exactly what flows. And don't think about it, just write what flows. And what flows will be what your souls want you to know. So, what do they want me to do? And this is to remove the mask, right? This is to just be your soul self, which is number seven. And to not, you know, don't put up walls, don't put up barriers, don't, you know, just speak as it is. Don't try and hide anything or be anything that you're not. So, everything seems to work out when you start, ah, uh, sorry, wrong one. What is it? It's 